Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Enigmatica 2 Expert. How are you doing? This is going to be a very busy episode because someone suggested in the comments that I can rush towards an applied energistic system. That's what we are going to do, so it's going to be busy and I should stop talking. I just made a list of things I did in between the episodes and I did a lot of work. It doesn't look much, but believe me, crafting something takes hours. <laughs> so we just go through the update and start the episode. The smeltery no longer doubles your ores um, and I realized it very late because I was always putting ores inside and I was thinking okay I will have thousands of iron and I would get like 5 stacks. <laughs> so then I realized oh it has been disabled. So I made an ore doubling system using mechanism. So we have a basic enriching factory and a basic smelting factory. Ores go from this hopper inside the basic enrichment factory, they get processed into dust and pulverized stuff and they get smelted here, they go inside this chest. I'm using a hopper because uh, yeah, pipes are short. Also I did uh, make additional solar panels, there, uh, somebody suggested that I should make the solar panels from mechanism because they're much more efficient but uh, that required getting into industrial craft too and um, yeah I, I prefer to do this method for now but we will get into that later on, it's actually a quest. I also made an advanced energy cube because um, yeah well this holds like 3.2 million RF and for some processes we are going to need that much RF because these uh, machines from nuclear craft they require a lot of buffer to do one process and well you remember from the last episode this is why I also have an energy cube there oh, other than that I just also made an osmium compressor and I guess that's it yeah that's it also, right over here, I made a mine shaft. Um, I'm using dark steel ladders. You can make them in the smeltery, and uh, it's very cheap. You need maybe I don't know, twelve dark steel ingots, and you can make all the ladders that you want. The good thing about them is that they're extremely fast. We're not falling down. We're climbing down. So. I'm mining in three different levels in order to harvest all the ores. Um, this is the deepest one which I use for, I don't know, diamond, redstone and stuff. Then there is a second level and I'm just looking, it goes up. <laughs> this is why I love the dark steel ladder. Oops, sorry. Yeah. So uh, we have three different levels and I'm not sure if the levels are correct but I'm getting all the ores so I'm not complaining. Anyway, enough mumbling for now, we have to get into extra utilities and forestry. Those are the gateways to applied energistics. See you in the morning. This is how you realize that a pack has been designed just to frustrate you. <laughs> it needs a glass for making the resonator. It has to be glass and it has to be chiseled in Chinese. I don't know why. Making a chisel is very simple, but why? <laughs> Can't you just use normal glass? Well, these solar panels from Extra Utilities 2, they're not so beautiful, so I'm just going to hide them here. We put the resonators there and I don't think the range really matters. You just have to have the power grid, so nobody cares. And as long as nobody cares, I also don't care. Just out of curiosity, how much GP do you need? 16. Okay, I made these things, well, Mainly they are a quest, so we had to make them, but I also want to make universal cables from mechanism because we also need to get into IC2. Alright guys, in order to make an applied energistic system, we are going to need to dive into different mods. And I thought I should explain to you what we are going to do so that when I'm crafting a bunch of stuff, it doesn't look very confusing. I looked at the recipes of applied energistics, some of them have been changed, some of them have not. So for instance making a terminal is easy, making cables is easy, making pure surface quartz is easy, all the rest are easy. These stuff have been changed and we are going to need them. So in order to make an inscriber, this stuff we have, we are going to need plastic or rubber and an advanced machine casing, carbon, advanced alloy, which you can only make them inside an industrial craft 2 machine. We're not producing EU, we're only producing RF. So this is why I made the resonator from extra utilities in order to make the universal cable from mechanism to convert that RF into EU. So that we can make all of these. <laughs> anyway, we are also not going to need an ME controller because we are only going to use three channels maximum for now because I'm only going to use it for storage. You need an ME controller if you're using more than eight channels. So we don't need to craft this and the quest can wait. I'm not in a hurry. 
Also, the drive requires us to make this disk drive from open computers, which is not difficult to make, it's just a lot of crafting, and we need to get into forestry to make these casings. This is why we need to get into forestry. And the energy acceptor requires us to go into immersive engineering. So... I better stop talking and start working. I think the first mod that we should start with is uh, forestry and we need to make a carpenter. So I already did a lot of mining and I made a lot of bronze because apparently forestry requires a lot of bronze. So we also need a little bit of uh, treated wood. So we got this tank from a quest and I think I can get just one bucket for now. Good, so that we can make treated wood and some gear casts so that we can make copper gear. Uh, these two are actually bronze gear and I couldn't see the difference. Look, they look almost identical. A carpenter requires some sort of fluid and a pattern in order to craft something. We're going to need to make a thermionic fabricator. So first of all, we're going to need a hardened casing. We need water and we need this pattern. So someone suggested I should make a sink. It looks ugly because it has a fish and I hate fish. <laughs> anyway, I guess we should be able to extract... No? Yeah, there you go. So this gets water and if we set the pattern, it's not consuming the stuff, it's just accepting a pattern. And it should start crafting. For the impregnated casing, we are going to need seed oil, and I was not thinking of that. But luckily, we can also make olive oil from rustic, which should be easy peasy. We need a crushing tub and some olives. I have some olives. A crushing tub, and how do you add olive? Oh, that's it? Okay. Apparently, you just have to right click. Do I have to jump? Really? I was joking. <laughs> okay. That's fun. I really hope I can extract it using a bucket. I love me. And one thermionic fabricator. Good. Now we should be able to make the circuits from forestry. Okay, so the thing that we're going to need is to make an atomic reconstructor and we're going to need these tubes. And unfortunately, I call them circuits. Sorry, they're not circuits, they're called tubes. So the system is exactly the same as carpenter. You're going to need the pattern, then you put the ingredients inside. And where is my tin? I have tin here. There you go. And this one does not require a fluid, but it does require glass. So you have to put it here and wait for it to melt. There you go, we get tubes, and the other tubes, and iron casings, awesome, did we get the manual? No. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I made a dank null, and when you make it, you get a ton of glass, extra glass, which you don't know what to do with, so we should be also able to make you. No. and one atomic reconstructor. And I guess you already know that if you right click with a torch and then put a lever on top, you can control this. You're on pulse, right? Yeah, so good, it works. We drop iron, we press U, we get an ori crystals and now we can make the universal cable. So these are not normal sticks, they're special sticks. We have to make them inside the carpenter. We add you and we add olive oil. Do you work? Okay. So eight universal cables and we upgrade them to advanced. Good. Now we can easily convert RF into EU and we can get into IC2, industrial craft two. Hi. Everything in IC2 requires rubber. How do you get rubber? You require to get these sticky resins. How do you get them? You need to find rubber trees. They're very scarce and also they don't drop that many saplings. So what I did was that I plant them and I use the crook and I get a bunch of saplings. This is why I have 17 and we didn't get anything. <laughs> okay, now we have 22. Of course, if you have silk touch, you can take this part with a tree tap you can get a sticky resin and it will grow back. So now we have four. I don't have silk touch, but I think you need silk touch. 
But it's not going to be a problem, I'll just cut them down, get the resin and plant more. And of course, we smelt them into rubber. Which goes here. Also, we are going to knock out a bunch of quests while doing this and I thought instead of showing you each and every single reward, I'll just collect them here, I'll open them at the end of the episode and show you the result. It will take much less time and I guess that would be much better. So we put all the loot chests here, I will gather everything and show you the result so that in case I get a dragon heart by some miracle, <laughs> you know where it comes from. Alright guys, we did all of that in order to make an inscriber, because we are going to need a machine case which requires an advanced machine casing, also plastic or rubber, which requires these. For these, we need to get into IC2. And this is why we need the universal cable, because this machine requires EU. We are not producing EU, so we have to convert RF into EU. And now, we should be able to make the advanced alloy. And this is going to be loud. No? Okay, it's not that bad. Yes! We have an advanced alloy. Good. And of course for the carbon, I think this is how we make it. Yes. And this also goes inside the compressor and we get the carbon plates. If you put your sticky resin inside an extractor from IC2 and we have only 8 overclocker upgrades, you actually get 3 rubber per each resin. So that's the most efficient way of doing that. And the recipe for crafting this has not been changed, so it's easy to craft. And of course you know how to make flux crystals. You need to put charged certus quartz inside the water, redstone and nether quartz. And if I'm guessing correctly, we have everything to craft three inscribers. So let's try. Yes, we have three inscribers. That is awesome. I cannot upgrade them to advanced because I don't have the engineering press. So I have to find a meteor. I found one. Can I kill him? No, 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 I can't. I think the best thing to do is to just take the thing that we're going to need and run. And this is not the one, that's not the one, and we don't have it. Go. Okay, we're safe. So in order for applied energistic devices to work, you're going to need an energy acceptor and the energy acceptor requires an engineering processor. So how do I power you? Will you work? Oh yeah, it does work. Really? One engineer's workbench and the blueprint for components. So we should be able to make these vacuum tubes. I don't know how to make them. Uh, oh, okay. Nickel, copper, redstone, blue. Does it have to be blue? Oh, okay. Anything. And finally, one energy acceptor. Great. I'm so happy. Well, okay. That's a quest? Huh. Oop, it's night time. Alright guys, I think uh, we're almost done. We just have to make the drive and the terminal and we're good to go. We shall have our ME system very soon. I think I will do the rest of the crafting off camera because it's getting boring and I have to release this episode one day. Um, the only thing that I have to explain, I guess, is to how to make the pure certus quartz. So we make the seeds like this and I have to find my enrichment chamber. Oh, that's the one. Okay. So we put you inside and this should make pure certus quartz very fast instead of waiting for 8 hours. There you go. See you shortly. So the inscribers connect to the universal cable but the advanced inscribers do not. Luckily we have the energy acceptor and life is good. Yep, that's great. Mm. 
So we're going to put the energy acceptor here and I am going to use a solar panel because I have no other means of powering this thing. So where is the solar panel? I just stole it from there. So I, I didn't craft it. We put you here and I managed to also make nine 4Ks and three 16Ks. But the worst part is everything is simple and easy to craft. Look at this one. It needs an iron chest. So I only had 10. And finally, we have a functioning applied energistic system. This feels so good. I'm so happy. And this is the best part. I just realized that our applied energistic system does not work during the night. So we need these to save some energy. Oh. All right, guys, now that we have our applied energistic systems, there are two more things that I want to do before finishing this episode. And one of them is to make us go blah, blah, go this thing. <laughs> so this is the next tier of mining and it is after manulin and it's just an alloy of, I think, refined glowstone, refined obsidian and osmium inside the smell tree. And it's super expensive. It's also a quest, so I want to make it. I'm already preparing some stuff. These are for the upgrades. I have an osmium compressor, so making that should not be a problem. I'll do the crafting and um, I'll bring you back, I guess. Okay, so I managed to make a few. That's not bad. Um, apparently for the quest, we should just make a sharpening kit. And this could take some time. And we just upgrade our pickaxe. Also, do you remember that I said I'm going to make a mattock because it's an axe as well as a shovel? So it's not. <laughs> that was a stupid mistake. So this is sand. This is how I mine it. And this is on haste test test test. So it doesn't work on sand. It doesn't work on gravel. It works very well on dirt and anything which looks like dirt. But other than that, it's useless. So I think I will be making a hatchet as well as a shovel. The last thing that I want to do today, now that we upgraded our pick, is to make a nano suit because I want to go and fight that dragon. I thought a nano suit should be nice. The most difficult part of making a nano suit is to make the nano suit helmet because you're going to need these. And this is so much complicated. So we already got this from a zombie. He dropped it. We don't need the helmet. So making the rest of it should be fairly easy. I am already making the crystals here. We have 11 of them. Whoa. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> I'm grinding down lapis and we should be able to make some Lapatron crystals and life will be great. I managed to make a charge pad and if we put the armor inside, this should get charged after a few billion years. But we have our nano suit. I'll get some stuff and we can go and hunt the dragon. You know, I just realized that the difference between a charge pad and an MFSU is that you can stand on it and charge it. You don't have to do it one by one. Yeah. Hi. Um, I'm almost ready. I'm just waiting for this to be charged. I made an electric bow from mechanism because that was the easiest bow to make. I made some of these roast prime beefs because that gives me instant health. I have some golden apples, but there is a problem. This duplicated itself. I didn't do anything. It's like I have two of them. Okay. All right, guys, with this dragon fight, I'm also thinking that it's a good time to wrap up the episode. So um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.